Today, we're diving into Huawei's Harmony OS Next, a name that's stirring up excitement and controversy across the tech world. Imagine an operating system with the potential to shake up the dominance of iOS and Android. Now, according to Xia Hangi, founder of 360 Group, Huawei isn't just trying to improve user experience with Harmony OS Next, they're setting the stage for a new way we interact with our smartphones. He sees it as more than just another OS update. It's Huawei's ambitious move to blend AI advancements with smartphone technology, and he's calling it a dark horse that might just surprise us all. But what does that mean for us as users? And will it live up to the hype? Stick around. We're about to dig deep. So let's talk about the big selling points. Huawei has packed Harmony OS Next with enhancements that focus on three critical areas, performance, user experience, and security. And when they say performance, they're not messing around. Harmony OS Next claims a boost of up to 30% in fluency and responsiveness, so you'll experience smoother scrolling and faster app switching. Battery life, too, is a game changer. Who doesn't want an extra hour of charge without hunting for a charger midday? These updates alone could be enough to sway people, but Huawei's ambition doesn't stop there. They're aiming to create a whole ad-powered ecosystem, where your phone practically knows what you want before you do. Imagine personalized app suggestions, predictive text that actually understands your context, and even automated device settings, optimized for your unique usage patterns. But with big promises come big challenges. Recently, when Harmony OS Next launched, millions of users rushed to upgrade, hoping for the seamless experience promised by Huawei. And here's where things get really interesting. Harmony OS Next's incompatibility with Android means that more than 90% of Android apps won't work unless they're recoded specifically for Harmony's new ecosystem. This drastic change has left users choosing between Huawei's vision for the future and the convenience of having the apps they rely on. Huawei CEO claims they've achieved in 10 years what took other systems decades. But for now, without Android's compatibility, Harmony OS has left many users stranded without the familiar functionalities they depend on. Beyond the app issues, there's the social aspect. Many users who voiced concerns about these compatibility issues found themselves facing backlash online, and with critics accusing them of being unpatriotic for criticizing a Chinese tech product. It's a high-stakes situation where social media, patriotism, and technology collide. Despite this, industry insiders have spoken out, pointing out that many apps on Harmony OS Next are in early testing stages, with basic features still missing. It's a tough spot for users who want to support Huawei, but also need a reliable, fully functioning OS. Let's zoom out a little. By making Harmony OS fully independent from Android, Huawei has taken a significant risk. This OS no longer supports Android apps, so developers have to create apps specifically for Harmony's unique kernel. With over a billion Harmony OS compatible devices in circulation and millions of developers on board, Huawei has a lot of potential backing. Of course, Huawei's Harmony OS isn't just about tech. It's part of a much larger story. For China, Harmony OS symbolizes a move toward technological independence, breaking away from reliance on US-based systems. With US sanctions still in place, Huawei faces restrictions in global markets. Without Google services, popular apps, or even payment functionalities that work outside China, can Harmony OS really stand as the world's third major mobile OS, as Huawei claims? Or will it be a more regionally focused OS that primarily caters to patriotic users in China? For now, Harmony OS represents both national pride and technological ambition. But is that enough to make it a true competitor on the global stage? So, what's the takeaway? For now, Harmony OS Next is an ambitious leap forward, but also a work in progress, with Huawei's bold move to separate from Android, bringing both strengths and setbacks. The real question is, will Harmony OS evolve fast enough to keep up with its lofty goals, or will the frustrations around app compatibility and early testing hold it back? Tell us what you think. Could Harmony OS Next be the first real alternative to iOS and Android, or is it still too soon to tell? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss any updates on this unfolding story.